Hi guys, Adam Young here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to hit those low shots that stay under and out of the wind a little bit better. Now, I grew up in the UK on Lynx courses, so I really needed this shot quite a lot when I was a youth. Now, you could just club up, so that's going from a seven iron to a six, five, or even four, depending on how strong the wind is. However, instead of using a four iron, if you were able to use a five or a six and hit a punchy shot, that actually stands a greater chance of staying more online. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hit that punch shot with just a few simple setup keys and maybe one swing thought. So I'm gonna hit my stock shot just as a thing to compare against. So I have my seven iron. And so you see a quite, quite a high shot there. That's not gonna be very good in the wind. That's gonna lose a lot of distance. So one of the first things I would do in setup is instead of having my normal ball position, which is center or slightly ahead of center, I might push the ball back a little bit. Now I'll have it as far back as the right foot if I really wanna hit a low shot, but just nudge it back a couple of inches to start. And the other thing you can do is have your weight a little bit more on the left side, because both of these things will encourage more forward shaft lean at impact. And it's forward shaft lean that takes loft off the club, and that makes the ball flight lower. Now moving the ball back in your stance and having your weight a little bit more forwards, that can make the club path a little bit more in to out or to the right. So something else that I do in setup is just with my shoulder line, I will just open the shoulder line out ever so slightly and that neutralizes the path. So we have the ball back in the stance, we have the weight forwards, we have the shoulder slightly open, those are the setup keys. And then from there, if I hit the shot, you can see a much lower trajectory. That's gonna really fight the wind and not lose as much distance. Now, if those three setup keys aren't too much for you and you can also manage a swing thought, one of the best ones to have is to shorten the follow through and make sure that you slam on the brakes as quick as you can after you've hit the golf ball. And that tends to delay the release, which encourages more forward shaft lean, which again, knocks that ball flight down. So if we put all of that together, we've got the ball back in the stance, we've got the weight a little bit on the front foot, we've got our shoulders slightly open, and now I can put all my focus on just shortening the follow through. And we can see just how low that shot came out. So this was the trajectory of my stock shot. You can see quite high. When I added on the three setup keys, so ball back, weight forward, shoulders a little open, we got a much lower trajectory and when I added on the curtailed follow through, that trajectory lowered still. All of them carried around about the same yardage and about the same accuracy. So get out to the range and try and practice that shot before you take it to the course. But hopefully when it's really windy, using that shot, using those keys is gonna allow you to keep that ball flight lower and more under control.